Brass is a generic term used to describe a range of wind instruments spanning many different instrument shapes, mouthpieces, controllers and fingerings, from the trumpet with its system of valves, to the trombone with its slide, to saxophones of varying sizes with reeds and pads. Add to this the huge range of styles that brass instruments have been associated with, from classical symphonies to jazz, a genre of music practically based on sax and trumpet, to rock and funk, and it's incredible that a genre essentially based on the construction medium has been established at all. It's exactly this, the multifaceted nature of both instrument and playing technique that makes brass sounds so hard to recreate in the keyboard-based world of MIDI. Do any of us need to hear any more of those over-pitch-bent plastic saxophone melody lines? No, I think not. The subtleties of brass playing, the squeaks, the changes of tone through the duration of a single note, the glides, the tonguing, the dramatic changes of volume, all may play havoc with a fixed MIDI sound engine, or with samples. But for physical modelling technologies, this is actually standard procedure. Audio physical modelling has been a synthesis technology since the early 1990s. Yamaha's VL1 synthesizer, which was launched in 1994, initially grew out of research done at Stanford University in California. The same technology hothouse from where FM synthesis and the DX7 sprang in the 1970s. Whilst most hardware physical modelling instruments still remain prohibitively expensive and complex to control, physical modelling in a purely software environment is a much less costly prospect all around. Another of the world's great research institutes, IRCAM in Paris, had also been developing physical modelling technologies for many years, creating and assisting with a number of associated and support products from the interactive Max programming language in the 1980s to specific physical modelling programs like Modelis, Winset and Resonance. IRCAM began working on the models for what would become Arturia's brass project in 1999. Arturia actively defining and refining the processes required for a standalone software product for more than two years. Using such intriguing contraptions as a mechanical device that sports a pair of latex lips, an earthquake chambers to define the relationship between impulse response and acoustic impedance, and mathematic calculations operating at more than 44,000 times a second to ensure the final sounds are consistently and constantly in motion. Brass, the product, brings a level of analysis to the complete process of generating and reproducing brass sounds, the likes of which has never been undertaken before. All of this would be somewhat moot, as opposed to mute, if operating this virtual instrument was as complex a task as, say, operating a trumpet. But of course it's not. Brass hides its underlying technology, offering optimal values for model parameters based on years and years of research and analysis, allowing you, the user, to simply be inspired and make musical choices. And if you're not entirely sure about the musical choices, then the so-named riff mode in brass lets you drag and drop a range of brass motifs onto your keyboard or timeline. Recorded in MIDI, and you can even import third-party MIDI files too, these riffs are completely flexible in terms of key and timing and voicing. As always, it's the balance of the underlying technology, its application, and the ease with which the results are made available to the user that hold the key to a stimulating experience and a successful product. Brass comes with an impeccable pedigree in all categories, from the wealth of research undertaken at EARCAM to Arturia's practical application of physical modelling technology so as to produce software that truly does reflect the intriguing and multi-layered world of brass playing.